The number one thing that people don't talk about when we talk about self-defense is fashion. Now in today's world, all the young men walk around with their pants sagging down. If your pants are sagging down, that means those kicks to the groin may not be relevant. But don't forget about this fashion. If you're wearing high heels, ladies, you can always stomp and scrape. But don't forget about the hoodie. The hoodie, we're gonna show some simple stuff with the hoodie takedown. If he has a hoodie, the first thing I wanna do is get possession of the hoodie. I can grab him in a cowboy grip, knee at any time. From the knee, you can throw the elbows. Go back and see our elbow sequences. You can start with the elbow real quick. You can twist it around and have full control of him. Again, if he grabs or hooks at me again, throw a hook punch, I can block here, I grab here. Remember the things I told you about kickstand sweep. Kickstand sweep. He's gone. I still have possession of him. Switch arms and I have possession of him. Did you get that? Again, I'm always reaching for that hoodie. I can headbutt him, knee him to the groin, pull the hoodie over his head. You see this in the street. And just start wailing, switching, wailing. Knee, because I'm making him blind. You guys have seen this, right? He can't see. That's the key to push. Place my knee here, bring my hand to the other side, grab the hoodie, palm and press. And now I have full control. So if I punch my guy, if I get him to bend, I want to grab this hood. I'll pull it over his head, press down, and from there, I can punch, hammer fist. Hammer fist is really good. Knee to face. You don't have to know karate, but you only have to know karaza to do that. So all you have to know is karaza. Push it a little bit with the camera on this. So I'm hitting him with the flurries. I get him to bend, get him to bend. I grab him, pull out over his face, and now I can punch him. I can switch hands if I want, but just punch him with one hand. Hammer fist, kick to the knee, cause a lot of pain. And do one of my favorite moves, matador push him down. Still, I'm not allowing him to see. I'm making him very uncomfortable. And that's the hood. Okay, so that is the basics of how to use the hoodie. The key to using the hoodie, pull it over, get control of it like it's his hairpiece. Get control of that hoodie, and you'll be able to knee, elbow, look up our series on elbows, look up our series on knees, and kicks to the body. And I look forward to seeing you again. Well, so here we go, ball your fist, Jab, cross, cover the bullet, skull and crossbone. That's your first three. So jab, cross, cover the bullet, skull and crossbone. Now the rest of the set, after you do jab, cross, cover the bullet, skull and crossbone, we're going to do double pyramids and cage, which is also called double pyramid. Cage, and from there we're going to roll the dice and then shuffle the cards and I'm in fighting position. That's the combination. Again, jab, cross, cover the bullet, skull and crossbones, and double pyramids, cage, and roll the dice, shuffle the cards, and you're in fighting stance ready to work. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Now you know what to do. I want you to punch that like button, elbow that share button, and headbutt. I mean headbutt that subscribe button. And I'll see you later. Salute.